to achieve without losing your feminine energy. <laughs> love from the temple of Isis in Egypt. There was a guy who just came and he reminded me this was a goddess of love. And so with that energy, I wanted to share with you today about a topic that many of you have been asking about. How can I achieve? How can I be successful while maintaining my feminine essence? How can I still be feminine and be successful? The first tip I wanted to share with you today is that instead of looking out into the world for direction and guidance and all these ways of predicting how we go from the outside, I want to invite you to rule, to lead, to make decisions from the inside out. Find your truth when you are creating your career or creating a relationship or creating anything in the world. And instead of waiting for a boss or a president or anybody in an outside leadership position to tell you what to do, try and ask yourself, what is your truth? What is your inner world? What is your inner realm asking, begging, calling for you to do? Because when you start to lead from the inside out, when you start to lead from the place that is so true for you emotionally and in values and in direction and vision, then you are leading from the feminine because the feminine is all about your inner world. So lead from the inside and you will be more aligned with that flow. You will be less um, clashing with other things and less forcing and less pushing and less really trying to create something that's not yours to create in the first place. And when you create from your truth, then you will find the directions and flow and grace and ease. So that is my first tip for you. Start applying it today and see how you can lead from the inside out. The second tip I wanted to share with you today is to learn conscious communication, the word, the power of the word, the power of negotiation, the power of really learning how to create win-win situations and learn that through your behavior, and through your language and through your words, you can create either harmony and flow and peace or conflict. One of the earlier things I learned on my journey is something called nonviolent communication. And I learned different versions of it throughout the way. But in each version, there was so much about ownership, ownerships of feelings, of needs, of really owning something that is yours and not blaming or projecting. And also in trying to negotiate with another, whether it's your lover or your boss or an employee who works with you, try and find a place where you are both up leveled. And I learned this the most from Ihab because in the beginning, I was very much a competitive kind of get my own way kind of person. And I learned that doesn't always serve me. And I would see how he would do it differently, where he puts a leg in and the other person puts a leg in. And actually there was more harmony in the end result of what's being created or co-created. So in order to lead from the feminine, from a place of harmony and beauty and peace and relationships, then we have to learn and upgrade our way of communicating. And this has been a process for me. It's not an easy one because our third chakra, our seat of power, our need to be right all the time will always come in the way. That voice in the head that goes, no, it's going to be my way. No, I know I'm right. No, I'll bet you $100 I'm right. That voice is going to be the space between you and peace and harmony. And if we want more peace in the world, if we want more harmony in the communities we live in, then we have to learn to communicate with one another and realize that every single person carries a universe. Every single person has something to say. Every single person has a stand, has a story. And when we put all the pieces together, it's so important to know how to relate. So when you really master, upgrade, and understand, master the art, the science of communication, you'll be able to create more, get more results, as well as feel more fulfilled. And that brings me to the third point I wanted to share with you. How to be a more feminine leader, how to lead from the feminine, how to lead towards a vision of peace and harmony and unity of, of everyone around us. And this one is all about purpose, service. How can you be in purpose, which is a very masculine energy, while being in service from the inside out? 
And I've been contemplating this for a while, especially this morning in my hotel room, thinking, what is the way to really anchor purpose in the feminine? And I found a little hack, a little harmony, a little union of purpose and service, and that is to be in service of something that you care about. Care, emotions, that brings it right back into the feminine. To be in service of our collective, to be in service of something bigger than yourself, to be in service of Gaia, Mother Earth, nature, the planet, to be in service of humanity. Because when you are in service of something bigger, like the planet, which is the goddess, the mother of all that is alive on this planet, then you are in service of the feminine. And when you are in service of the feminine, you tune, you align your leadership, your vision, your creativity, your place in the world with a more harmonious, peaceful end. And after all, isn't that what we all want? To live in harmony, to live in peace, and of course, to be fulfilled, to be successful, to embody our power. And so those are three tips I wanted to share with you today from the Temple of Isis, one of the very powerful mythological figures from our human history. Hopefully you tuned in with some of her energy as well. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again. arrived in the Cataract Hotel in Aswan and we got an upgrade to the Opera Suite which is the highest upgrade in the hotel and this is one of the top five soap hotels in the world so I just want to show you the view it's amazing in the room and the bathroom and of course the view of the temples and the Nile but how do you feel? It's incredible. <laughs> they didn't even know your doctor, Ihab Hamani. Why did they give us the upgrade? The universe <laughs> supporting that so cool. I love it. I but love boy, it. this is a nice bed. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, the view from the room is incredible. Hadalatir. <laughs> 